Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is Wednesday, October 20th, 2021, because this is a situation video. In other words, there's a situation happening right now in the gambling world. Let's put the time on it. It's Pacific Time, 5.07 p.m. So if you're in the Eastern Time Zone of the United States, right now it's 8.07 p.m. on Wednesday, October 20th. Now, before I go further, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, right now, this moment, I'm looking at it as we speak. On a Canadian online casino, now let's be adults, you need to check the legality of this website in your jurisdiction. Okay, I'm not here, by the way, to endorse any website. In researching odds, I visit a few, and occasionally I come across a line like this. In a fight where I believe the challenger to the title, Shakur Stevenson, has a chance to win, but the fight should be evenly matched. In other words, even though I give Stevenson the edge, it's not that big of an edge over champion Jamal Herring, the underdog. Just understand that as I make this video right now on CloudBet, they have Stevenson as a minus 1,191. Right? Just a shade under a minus 1,200. What that would mean is they would expect Stevenson if these guys fought 13 times to win 12 of the 13. The champion, Jamal Herring, who, when I made my initial video here, I thought he would go off at either even money or let's say up to a plus 150 or so. Jamal Herring right now, and it, this is a situation video, on CloudBet, again a Canadian website, is going off at a plus 715. Right? A plus 715. Folks, this line is ridiculous. Understand, the plus 715 implies on the Stevenson side of the play, that, sh excuse me, on the Herring side of the play, that Stevenson would win 7.15 out of every 8.15 times these guys fought. Folks, in gambling, the odds matter. Now, while I think Stevenson wins a decision and the over-under is 10.5 rounds, this bet is at the point, based on where it's priced, where it makes itself Right? Understand, I believe Stevenson is going to win by decision. But I have to have the mispricing in my betting portfolio. I believe you need to have Herring at a plus 715. This line has gotten out of whack. The bet I'm recommending now based on what I consider to be a clear casino mispricing involving a fighter I don't even think is going to win the fight. But he shouldn't be priced like this. The bet I'm recommending is Herring to win the fight at a plus 715 hedged with, hold your breath, the over 10 and a half rounds. That's the midway point of the 11th round, which is going off at a minus 199, practically a minus 200. Folks, 
you have a lot to work with here. Right? When you have a plus 715 on one side of the play, let's just say you can find a way to bet both sides of the aisle. Right? Let's talk about the psychology and no, I'm not here pretending to be a psychologist. But I've watched enough Shakur Stevenson fights to know that he's cautious. Right? He's not a guy who's going to show up and decide he's going to test the other guy in the pocket. That's not his game. Stevenson likes to have distance between him and an opponent. He figures out if he could outbox the opponent, and if he can from distance, that's where he's going to stay. This is a guy who doesn't want to get hit. He's very talented, nothing wrong with winning a fight by decision. I just don't believe that's going to change when he hops in the ring against the reigning champion who has a punch, who dropped Carl Frampton twice, who has an uppercut that's deadly in the pocket. Right? I believe Stevenson's going to stay outside. I'll be surprised if he tries to press his luck in the pocket. I believe Stevenson likely wins by decision. But there is no way that I could be offered a plus 715 on a legitimate reigning champion and not take a swing for the fences. But I need for you to understand the risk involved. Right? If Herring suffers an injury, he's an older fighter, it happens, right? If Herring suffers an injury and can't continue, right? If Herring is fine but gets cut, Stevenson has an excellent jab. Let's say Stevenson pops him a few times and blood starts flowing into Herring's eye and Herring can't continue. Let's remember. Not all stoppages are caused by guys losing consciousness. You have a whole group of stoppages caused by injuries, bleeding, uh, broken hands, torn ligaments, vision problems. You have a whole other group. If any of that happens, and Herring, who has a chin, can't continue and this happens before the midway point of the 11th round. You lose it all. Also, if Stevenson comes in the ring, has too much speed, and then decides he's Billy Kahn, and decides he's going to enter the pocket because if he's going to get the championship, he's going to get it with an exclamation point. People are going to remember his name. Right? You have this personality type in boxing. Just remember Billy Kahn, Joe Lewis. So if Stevenson decides, hell, enough with me out boxing this guy. I've proven that. I need to come in the pocket now and make the statement. And if he makes the statement before the midway point of the 11th round, you lose it all. Understand the risk involved. If you would have told me, if you would have told me, that Jamal Herring would be going off at a plus 715, I would have told you you're kidding. Let me just say this too. If you go to the CloudBet site, and by the way, this line is an extreme line. I've been on a bunch of sites this afternoon. I haven't found this line elsewhere. Again, it's Jamal Herring at a plus 715 simply to win. But if you look a little bit lower, right below the Stevenson Herring fight is another shocker. I recommended Khaled Plant when he was something like a plus 450. I thought the plus 450 was ridiculous. Well, folks, right now, and it is now 5.16 p.m. on Wednesday, October 20th, Pacific time, here in the United States, 
Right now, Calit Plan is going off on CloudBet at a plus 635. Has anyone seen these two guys together? Plant, by the way, much bigger. Does anyone realize that Caleb Plant has, in my opinion, one of boxing's best left hooks? In other words, folks, the fight's not going to be one guy chasing and the other guy running. Right? Both guys have among the very best left hooks in boxing. Canelo has an excellent left hook. Right? Caleb Plant, of course, is unbeaten. Plus 635. As I like to say, if I saw this in a movie, I would say, you're kidding me. Come on, this can't be true. But, of course, this is boxing. And in boxing, truth is stranger than fiction. I'm going to back away from my initial video on this fight. I do still expect Stevenson to win by decision. Don't get me wrong on that. Right? But, wow. I have to have Herring at a plus 715, folks. This is just too much of a mispricing. I'm a simple man. I make simple decisions. If I'm in the casino and you tell me that Herring is fighting in his weight class and I'm getting a plus 715, I'm saying thank you very much. Right? I'll hedge the play with the over. So if Herring wins by decision or Stevenson wins by decision, at that point, I won't care because the fight has gone over. Okay, that's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Also, do this because I know online has a lot of betting sites. Right? For legal reasons, I can't recommend betting sites. Plus, it would be a conflict of interest, quite frankly. But if you're seeing better odds than this on any website, let us know in the comment section of this video. I have no affiliation with CloudBet, right? I don't own stock in CloudBet, right? Uh, quite frankly, I visit a bunch of sites online, right? I understand the people leaving comments here. Let's all have an agreement. You're not endorsing a website. You don't own the website. You're just helping other gamblers find the best lines possible. Thanks for stopping by.